All right, this is going to be the very first bringing back Black Ops 3 gameplay stuff. Yeah. Ugh. So it's been a long time since I've played Call of Duty Black Ops 3 or Modern Warfare Remastered or Infinite Warfare, this old series that I had going. My old original Black Ops 2 TDM series did absolutely phenomenal for this channel. It did really good. And I wanted to make that like a whole huge modding thing. But obviously once I got the jailbreak, I ended up uh, getting banned. And now I've just kind of gone a little different route with the modding stuff. And I'm still kind of, you know, playing with it every once in a while. But, you know, it didn't quite work out like I wanted it to with that. So I started doing the Black Ops 3 modding and the um, Infinite Warfare and... Or not Black Ops 3 modding, what the heck is wrong with me? I started doing the Black Ops 3 TDMs and like the Infinite Warfare TDM and all the... uh. Why am I going to campaign? God, it's been so freaking long. Uh, give me like two seconds. A lot of stuff is opening up on my computer. I don't know why. Alright, I'm back. Um, So, yeah. Like, basically a lot of stuff has happened. And after not being able to do Black Ops 2, like, TDMs like I wanted to, I came over to this and started doing these TDMs with, you know, Infinite Warfare, COD 4 Remastered, and Black Ops 3. I was, I was alternating, like, the pool, or the, like, the games every video, and just playing TDMs and commentating over them like I am now. And I'm going to get really bad back pain with how I'm sitting. <laughs> I really got to fix this. Give me just... I, as you guys can tell, I'm not extremely prepared to uh, do this video, so. Ugh. Much better. Okay. So yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm not very prepared to do this video, and that's because I uh, didn't really know all this was going to be happening. So the reason these videos haven't been coming out as you know, often as they used to kind of just go out in order. That's because, um, well, basically, Roberto and I had like a few issues like that we were just kind of having together. Like we were fighting all the time and getting in a bunch of bad fights and stuff like that. Just not really, not really getting along. It wasn't really fun for either of us. Not like it used to be at least. Wow, my shot has gotten bad. Uh, it wasn't fun for either of us, and we were just kind of, we ended up just having a lot of bad issues. So he ended up getting moved in my little brother's room with him, and my little brother's room was extremely small. That was a crazy no-scope. Um, oh, that was a horrible game. Yeah, he ended up getting moved in that room with him, and they were just kind of, you know, they've been there ever, like, that all happened right whenever I got my new room. So if you go and watch the setup video, my most recent setup video, you'll see, like, around that time is whenever I lost, basically, privilege or ability to recording these TDMs and anything PS4-related. So, all that happened, and ever since he's been in there, I haven't had the chance to record with the PS4. I have played it a little bit, but I just, I, I don't know. Something about it, I, like, I just, I couldn't do it. And I was playing it in their room. It was all weird. It was horrible. So, today, during school... Um, but like in a, like a long, like study hall period I had after I took like my standardized I step test or whatever. After that, I, um, I was watching some call of duty videos and for some reason, I don't know why I didn't have headphones, but I didn't have headphones on me. So I decided I needed to watch some like good gameplay videos and I just kind of started watching them and I got, uh, I like, I like to watch a YouTuber named fearless. It's uh his name is just fearless. Be like he usually does Black Ops Three stuff, but he does other games too, and he's extremely good. He's a really good commentator too, but his videos are entertaining even without like audio. They're entertaining. That's how like that's how good his videos are. And after that happened, like after I watched uh, a few of his videos, whenever I got home, uh, like after school, I um I started watching more of them and more of them. 
and I was just really like getting into his videos. And I love the way he commentates and how he like how he does his gameplays and stuff. They're really cool. And then I wanted to I want to start doing things like that. So it's gonna progress over time and take me a while to you know even get close to where like as good as he is, especially with freaking sniping. He's a crazy good sniper. Um, but that that still doesn't explain the reason why the PS4 is back in my room. So like after or during my like study hall time, I was uh I, like while I was watching these videos, I te I messaged my mom, I texted her, and I was like, hey, um, so I need to make a deal, and she was like, what deal? And I was like, well, I want the PS4 to be in my room because he and my brother really don't get along, and my little brother is not the uh, best of kids to be hanging out with. He's not a really good kid. He's kind of like a punk, really, but. And Roberto, like, Roberto's a great kid. Roberto's my nephew, and I love this kid to death. He's crazy cool. He's hilarious. He's funny. But he is stupid at some points, and that's what caused our issues. And also, I was kind of, like, super crazy back then. I don't know. Something must have been wrong with me now that I'm looking at how stupid I used to act. But then again, I think about it, and I think, well, yeah, I mean, I guess there is a reason I did could have done something like that. But it was it was just dumb. I was, I was being an idiot, too. It wasn't right. I think I've matured since then. So I messaged my, or like I texted my mom, I told her, I was like, hey, I want to make a deal with Birdo where we can get the PS4 put back in my room and, you know, I can monitor his playtimes and stuff like that for her because usually she'll ask my old, my little brother to come down and tell him to get off and he doesn't really, like, or he doesn't really do it. I mean, Roberto still gets off because Roberto just knows, like, that he needs to be off the game at a certain time. But he doesn't really do it, and sometimes Roberto doesn't get off. So it's kind of, like, bad for both. Like, nothing really happens like it's supposed to. And then sometimes ha sometimes it's, like, they're always fighting. Roberto, he does have friends on here and, like, on Call of Duty and, like, GTA Five, where they all, like, get crazy loud sometimes and, like, yelling and stuff like that. And even I've had to go into their room multiple times. Like, I've had to leave my room and go into their room to tell them to be quiet. Or to tell him to, you know, quiet down some. And I think that's just him being a kid, which honestly it is. I mean, I don't have an issue with it. But, I, um, we were talking today and I was like, yeah, I would really like it if you brought your PS4 back in my room. Because I need more content on my channel. That's the real reason I wanted in here is because I need more content. Also, he and I have started to get along more, you know, like, better and stuff so it's really cool to have him like to be able to talk about gaming and stuff like that and like we've sat down and watch a bunch like we watch a bunch of videos all the time together and, and it's just really it's really cool to have someone else in the room i don't want to be as alone as i was with like in the amount of time that i was just by myself because it was it's bad whenever i'm in here i'm usually in my room almost right after i come home from school like, I'll, I might, like, I go up and eat and everything and hang out a little bit, but I'm usually in my room the entire time. Now, that's not, like, all the time. That does, I do obviously get out of my room every once in a while, but I'm in here for quite a long amount of time. And being in here just by myself is kind of boring, or not, like, not necessarily just boring. I mean, it, it does get kind of boring sometimes, but I've always got, like, games and stuff to play and videos to make or new editing ideas or videos to watch even. That happens that like a lot I do a lot of just video watching by myself and I, like sometimes it just gets kind of old and boring and holy crap did I just hit the guy oh, I just got the guy between his legs that's awesome but yeah so I do I like that just kind of happens sometimes and it's weird because then I start to like think to myself and I I get like really like <laughs> I don't know it just gets dark I get, I get like dark thoughts and bad things like start to just happen that I think of and it's really really bad and I don't want to be like that so I kind of like I mean my mom knows that I like that this happens sometimes and she's obviously not okay with it. like I'm she's not like you know hating me for doing it or for that happening because she knows it's just like an issue or just something that happens so I figured like this would be a cool way to kind of get away from that stuff if I just like don't like if I have someone else to talk to or someone else to hang out with then you know that won't be as often I can, or that won't happen as much and I can be happier and that's really cool I'm excited about that because then whenever he and I are hanging out and stuff like that 
Even if I do tend to get mad a lot, which is a lot, trust me. It's still like it's still better than me just being by myself. So that is kind of a reason I did it. I also did it because I really need to grind out videos. Not only do I need to grind out a ton of videos, I need to like I I need to get this KD up. Jesus. His KD is absolutely crazy. He's a really good player. He uh he said he might want to do a few videos. I don't know. I'll talk to him about it and see if he does. Like still does, but he's uh he's a really good player and I think if he just maybe even if he just like did like recorded some gameplay or something like that, I could still do commentating over it. But um I don't know. I can just I see a lot of good things happening for this like channel and stuff like that in the future because now that I have a next gen console in my room again, I can finally do some newer things and not have to stick to the older stuff like Black Ops Two or like older games that only my computer can run, like Minecraft. The, my Minecraft series is it's really, really dead. So I don't think there's anything that I can do about that just because it's hard to just start up a Minecraft series and be good at it. And it's, unless you're like extremely consistent with it and not like over consistent either. But if you're like extremely consistent with it and like on top of it and you've got like great idea plans and stuff like that, then maybe you can pull it off. But it's, it's hard, especially being, I would say a small channel, but I'm not that small of a channel. 300 subscribers is a pretty big amount for me, at least to me, that's a crazy amount. That's so cool to think of freaking 300 subscribers. It's awesome. Especially to think that like, you know, I started this channel a year ago and it was like four or five months ago. I said like 50 subs or a hundred subs. No, I think it was actually only, like, 50, or... It was barely 50, like, four or five months ago. So, to think of the progression that I've made, that's pretty cool. I think that is awesome. Where is this guy? Jeez, come on, man. I wanna... I don't know. I just... I've got good plans for this, and for this whole, like, bringing back the, you know, Call of Duty stuff. I don't want it to be labeled as a series. I want the videos to just be labeled as Call of Duty videos. And obviously, if I call it, like, a Call of Duty gameplay, guess, like, that's going to be ranked so freaking low on search results, that's going to be terrible. So, I need to get good at things and maybe, like, try and go for, like, challenges or something like that or something something new, something just kind of different for me, at least. It, might, it doesn't have to be different to, like, completely, like, do a backflip off the wall while I'm doing a trick shot. Like, something like, no... Like, I mean, that sounds kind of cool, but it also sounds kind of impossible, impossible given the fact that I can barely hit a trick shot, much less I can't even do a backflip. So, that was a nice shot. Um, yeah, but just maybe some challenges. If you guys have any cool challenges you want me to try out or want me to, like, just do or attempt, let me know and I might do them. I know, one, I know for a fact there are a few that I want to do. I want to go for a nuked out challenge where... I'm using just the DBSR, like the SVG or the Locust, one of the well, like one of the snipers, maybe not the PO6. I'm not the greatest with the PO6. And of course this will have to be in like, you know, a few days or so whenever I've gotten better at this game. Cause it's gonna take me a minute to get at least back to where I was with this game, and I was kind of decent at it. I did good sometimes, but I was nowhere near like great at the game. So in order for me to get good at this game, I gotta I gotta start grinding, which means I gotta start failing at school. No. Um, I do have to keep up with schoolwork, and that's really not that hard, because most of my schoolwork is done in school, where it should be, so. Yeah, I just think this will be really cool, and, jeez, that KD is just so bad. Like, <laughs> I, I don't like looking at it, like, I can't. I was, I was actually playing, and he was in here earlier, and he was playing on the, uh, he was playing on my computer, Black Ops 2, and... He was like, ma he was like, just make sure you do good so you don't like lower my KD, and, and I was doing horrible. Even like, even though I'm doing bad now, I was doing worse. I was doing like zero and like thirty, like <laughs> it was bad. But eventually, I kind of got like a little bit good. I got like a ten, and I don't know. I think my best in like the past few hours has been like a ten and thirteen, which sounds like garbage, and it is garbage. I'm trash at this game right now, especially. But I was like, I was like, yeah, I did pretty good. And I said like 10 and 13 and he like, 
He literally laughed in my face. And I was like, yeah, that probably just lowered your KD a little bit, didn't it? He's like, yeah. I was like, oh, my bad. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. So I think um, I think just over time I'll get better. And I'm pretty sure this will be a good, like, I'm certain this will be a good thing for us. Or not for us, for the channel is what I meant to say. And I don't know. I'm just excited. So if you guys do have any challenges, please do leave them in the comments. As that would be pretty awesome to complete some of your guys' challenges. And, um, yeah, so, you know, drop a like, subscribe for more of this, more of these Black Ops 3 commentaries. And I guess I will see you guys in the next one, which will probably end up being a uh, COD 4 Remastered one. I like that game. I can do decent on that game, at least. And I might do face scans with these. You guys got to let me know if I should do face scan with us or not. With the way I've got the new, like, the kind of improved setup is weird. But I can still do face cam if it's, you know, wanted. So let me know. Drop that down in the comments as well. And I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.